From the wildest theories speculating that Berlin is still alive and is the father of Alicia's baby, Cuidado con lo que se pide. to the hopeful hints that Tokyo will come back in part two, let's talk about the most insane money heist fan theories ever. Perhaps the darkest prediction about what might happen to the heist team hides in the very first episode of season five. At the end of it, the gang finds out that the professor doesn't have a plan B. I'm sorry, I can't. I'm really sorry, Rio. I'm so sorry, Valenpa. I'm really sorry, Helsinki. I'm sorry, Manila. But the moment that truly disturbed fans was not the professor's apology, but Tokyo's narration that followed the scene. Do you remember her thoughts in that moment? They were pretty scary and even visionary, but most fans missed that. Tokyo said that it was the end of the road. That one day your brother is diagnosed with a terminal illness. One day you realize that you'll never be able to see your child again. Then you won't see your friends again. You'll never hug your father again. Your family won't ever see each other again. Everything we experienced in the past was coming to a close. There is a theory that everything that Tokyo has said will actually happen in part two. Ugh. Her message about a brother who got diagnosed with a terminal illness is obviously about Berlin. Bien diagnosticado la enfermedad de mamá. Then the message about parents not being able to see their son again might be about Monica and Denver. The one about never hugging your father again fits Manila's situation, while your family won't ever see each other again could be about the professor in Lisbon. I want you to know that I'll never pull my gun on you again. Okay? Okay. <laughs> this theory is right, then Tokyo's message about the end of the road might foreshadow everyone's death at the end. Now, we're not saying that this is gonna happen, but it is definitely possible. Because unfortunately, Tokyo's already narrated some prophetic things. Moving on to a way weirder fan theory. Do you remember Berlin's ex-wife? Yeah, we know he had five wives, but we mean Tatiana. Are you prepared? You know I am. And of course you remember Alicia. So there's a theory that says Tatiana and Alicia are actually the same person. Yep. We know what you're thinking right now. How's that even possible? More than that, fans believe that Alicia was pregnant with Berlin's baby. What? Didn't Berlin die way before Alicia got pregnant? This theory could only be true if Berlin was still alive and hiding out somewhere. But we'll get to Berlin's possible resurrection a bit later. There are two reasons why fans believe Alicia and Tatiana are the same person. First of all, these two look very alike. And second of all, such a twist could perfectly explain how Alicia is so well informed about the professor's every step. Because Berlin told his ex-wife everything about their heist plan in the Bank of Spain, right? Plus, we've already faced some wild revelations in Money Heist. Like, for example, Berlin and the professor being brothers. So why couldn't Tatiana be young Alicia? Although there's one tiny but that ruins this theory. The professor met Tatiana in the past and there's no way that he wouldn't recognize her later, so we kind of think this theory is too far-fetched. A more realistic outcome here is that Tatiana and Alicia aren't the same person, but rather sisters. Well, that would be interesting, right? But still, it might just be that the casting managers of Money Heist inadvertently hired two similar-looking actresses, and by doing that, they unintentionally started an avalanche of fan speculation. Now. What about the biggest speculations of the latest season? And if I can't run with my body, at least let my soul be free. How can Tokyo still be alive? There were two hints hidden in the series saying that it's absolutely possible. The first one is in the promo trailer of season five. Did you see this sequence in part one? Nope, neither did we. Does that mean we'll see it in part two? Could be. In that case, Tokyo might have found some crazy way to survive the explosion. Get back! The second hint was hidden in episode five. The day I killed Gandia, all the odds were against me. Her narration doesn't make any sense if she's dead, right? Only a living person would say that. But how would Tokyo have managed to survive? Did she put her head under the vest or something? Or maybe she has nine lives like a cat and four grenades wasn't enough to kill her? Or maybe there was a sequence missing right before the grenades exploded and Tokyo managed to secretly escape? Or maybe the entire fifth episode was just Stockholm's drug trip. And I'm like, there's nowhere to stay under the 
up and I can do all there. No one or perhaps we should only concentrate on the most realistic version here, the one where Tokyo's dead. We know, we know, it's too painful to think about, but that's what happened in the series. Just recently, Ursula Corbero posted this photo on her Instagram saying, See you in hell, dear. I really love you. We guess that means Tokyo and Gandia are both off the show. Moving on to the oldest fan theory of all, this one is even more insane than Tokyo surviving that huge explosion. Here it is. There are still some desperate fans who believe Berlin is alive. How do you like that, huh? <laughs> but the hilarious thing is Pedro Alonso's comments on that. Check it out. But of course, this fan speculation is super naive and very far from the truth. Even the money heist writer Javier Santander's denied it, although he said multiple times that he regrets killing off Berlin. If we had known that there would be more seasons, we would have thought hard about killing Berlin. There's no way to revive him, he said. That explains why we see Berlin in a lot of flashbacks. The showrunners realized their mistake and tried to fix it. We can also get another theory from the flashbacks. There has to be a good reason why we've seen Berlin and his son's conversations. We know that Raphael knows a lot about the heist plan, right? Wouldn't it be plausible for him to appear in the events of part two and save the gang? We think so, yes. There are tons of wild money heist theories on the internet and Netflix seems to enjoy them all. More than that, they keep adding fuel to the fire. Like here, when they posted this on Netflix India's Instagram account. A toast to the brothers we love, they captioned it. The interesting thing here is that one fan commented on this post saying, the professor's under arrest, what's gonna happen next? And Netflix responded, if the professor is under arrest, you best believe that it's part of its elaborate plan. He got himself into this mess, we're sure he's planned how he's gonna get out of it. Hmm. Seeing the professor's face when he got caught by Alicia, we'd never think he planned it. Or maybe he's a new level of genius and he actually did plan everything? Here's what Pedro Alonso commented on the theory. He's making fun of us, isn't he? Pedro goes even crazier, developing his own speculation that the professor's real plan was to give birth to Alicia's baby. Todo el atraco era un pretexto para poder ejercer como como parturienta. Este, este es la aplicación. El, la, la línea fundamental, el, el arco concluía en esto. El, el doctor ayudando a parir a Sierra, a la bonita de Sierra. Yeah, he's definitely making fun of the fan speculations. But you know what? Pedro also gave brilliant advice for everyone who enjoys inventing crazy hypotheses. <laughs> yo, yo desaconsejo mucho ver esta serie, porque la gente luego empieza a, a idear cosas. Which of these theories seem realistic to you? And which sound like total nonsense? Let us know in the comments. Are you a fan of Money Heist? Then watch these videos too. Thanks for staying with us and take care, guys.